if you've never set up a gaming console before, or if you're curious about the PS4 setup process, this guide is for you. First, we'll cover the basics of hooking up your system. Then, we'll get you online and connected to the PlayStation Network so you can begin enjoying all that the PlayStation 4 has to offer. Out of the box, the base system includes the console itself, a power cable, an HDMI cable, one wireless controller, a controller charging cable, and an earbud with integrated microphone. Begin by connecting the HDMI cable to an available HDMI input on your TV or home theater receiver. Connect the other end to your PlayStation's HDMI output on the back of the console. Next, connect one end of the power cable to the PlayStation 4's power port and the other end into a wall outlet. To charge and pair your controller, connect the charging cable to the top of your controller. Insert the other end into one of the two USB ports on the front of the PS4. This cable isn't very long, so we recommend charging your controller when it's not in use and disconnecting it when you begin a play session. Now, we're going to power on the system to set up your internet connection and personalize your PS4. On the front of the system are two thin buttons. Touch the top one briefly to start up your PS4. The system may need to configure itself and reboot after it's powered on for the first time. Once this process completes, you'll be asked to press the PlayStation button on your controller. The PS4 will now walk you through the setup process, which includes choosing the language, connecting to the internet, and setting the date and time. You can connect to the internet wirelessly or via a wired ethernet connection to your router or modem. To set up a wireless internet connection, choose your wireless network from the list of found networks and enter your password. Now that you're online, you can install the latest system software if necessary and get connected with a PlayStation Network account. Start by selecting the default username and then sign in to PlayStation Network. If you don't already have one, choose Create an Account. With a free PlayStation Network account, you can save your game progress to the cloud and access the PlayStation Store to download demos, apps, games, movies, and more. You may need to update your PS4 before connecting to the PlayStation Network. Follow the on-screen prompts if an update is required. Now, follow the sign-up steps to confirm your email and sign into the PlayStation Network. During the sign-up process, you can customize your avatar and choose sharing settings for your account. You'll also be prompted to sign up for a PlayStation Plus account, PlayStation 4's paid monthly subscription service. PlayStation Plus offers several benefits including free downloadable games each month and access to online multiplayer content in games like Destiny and Bloodborne. There's only one catch. If you cancel your subscription, you'll be unable to play the free PlayStation Plus games you've already downloaded. Finally, you'll be asked whether to activate the system as your primary PS4. If this is your only PS4, we recommend selecting Activate so that the purchase content can be shared across profiles on the system. Now you're ready to start downloading and installing games. Download them from the PlayStation Store or insert a game disc into the front of the console. The lower button on the front on the PS4 is a disc eject button. Touch it briefly to eject your disc. To put the PS4 into rest mode, touch the top front button until you hear a beep. Completely power down the system by touching and holding the top front button. You'll hear one beep. Keep your finger on the button until you hear a second beep. The screen will confirm that the system is powering down. Your PS4 should now be ready to play and run the latest games and apps. We have lots more tips and tricks for getting the most out of your brand new PS4.